Hello everybody, Jason Farnham here with today's 5 minute English tip where we talk about English tips and little things you, that will help you with your English. So today I thought I would talk about something that I've heard a lot of people make mistakes about and it's a pretty easy thing once you get it so it's going to be a very easy lesson today as long as you can practice the pronunciation and the use and what I want to talk to you today about is this versus these, okay? This versus these. Because a lot of people have confusion on when to use it, why do we use it, and the pronunciation, especially when you're talking on the phone. So, if we talk about this, let's start with this. This pencil, this car, this marker, this microphone. It is singular, meaning there's only one, okay? This dollar, right? This penny, this light, this desk, okay? There's one, so this. But if I have many, or if I have even two, two, three, four, five, six, whatever, we must use these. And the pronunciation must sound different than this, okay? So, these, these cars, these dollars, these drums, these lights. I really like these lights you have outside, you know, multiple lights. Um, these forks, I don't know, <laughs> these glasses of lemonade. Whose are all of these glasses of lemonade? One, two, three, four, five. We have a lot, right? So it must sound different. How do you do that? Well, this, first of all, let's talk about the pronunciation of T-H in this. It must sound like so what you want to do is you want to put your tongue forward in your mouth, almost like you're sticking your tongue out, and it should come past your teeth like this, this. Okay, so, and your top teeth much touch your tongue, the middle of your tongue, this, this, and there should be a little bit of a buzz, this, this. You hear that little resonance there? This, this. If your tongue is back in your mouth and you're only touching the roof of your mouth, that is a D sound. D, dis, 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 okay? You must bring the tongue forward so that it comes out of your mouth like this. Like this. This word is everywhere. This. And teeth have to touch kind of the middle of the tongue. This. Okay? Now, let's talk about these. Same thing. So we're doing the plural form now. These. What you want to do is you want to make a Z sound at the end. These. Because that distinguishes this and these. Right? And it is a long E, whereas this, it's a short I, eh, this. But this is V, should be a long E and a Z sound at the end, Z. So you want to make that Z sound, you want to have the resonance, these. So there's resonance at the beginning, Z, E, Z, and Z at the end, these. Same thing, you want that tongue to come out and to touch the middle, excuse me, you want to touch the top teeth. Get that tongue forward, otherwise it's a D sound and it sounds like dis or D's, which you don't want, because on the phone, that's really hard to understand. You want to make sure it's very clear on the phone what you're trying to say, right? So practice with that, this for singular, these for plural. Make sure that TH sound is heard and it doesn't sound like a D. So again, tongue out, you have to push that tongue out of your mouth 
these, okay? And make sure it touches your top teeth, come down on the middle of your tongue, these. Then pull your tongue back, these, and get that Z at the end, okay? So that is today's lesson, this versus these. Let us know if you have any questions here at Togetherness Media. And as always, we hope you're healthy, safe, and happy. See you next time on Jason's 5-Minute English Tips. See you.